to the equation. And that's not fun whatsoever. Yeah, whistling through the back air, though. Oh, that was actually kind of scary. Yeah. I don't know. Is that smash attack punishable on block? Uh, I don't know with purple. Yeah. Was like I, I, know, I know it does Mondo it, damage. To both yeah. shield and person. Yeah, now he's got two red, or now he's got two purples. Basically like a, basically like Mega Man now. Yeah. Side B actually has knockback. Now here's the thing with Olimar. His smash attacks actually linger pretty long. Yeah. So if you put it at the ledge and you call a normal get up, they'll at least get hit by the sour spot and you can reset the situation. Oh, oh yeah. Good get up attack. Silver correctly read that. Yeah, that purple or uh, that blue up throw will take it. Yeah. And this playstyle that that Silver's taking with Lucina, it it, it it makes sense why he would choose this character over Mark because he he really wants to be aggressive and in Olimar's face, and being able to do that without having to worry about spacing, not not that he usually has to, but like just the general percentage reward on getting a hit is so much larger as Lucina. And one thing I'm noticing with Silver right now, he's not going off stage as much as we're usually used to seeing him going off. Yeah. Olimar character with a pretty good recovery. Like, he can recover from low, but he has no he way has to no, defend no, no himself. Hitbox, yeah. Yeah, like, well, once Olimar's off stage, you can just go hit him. Hit him till he dies. Especially because usually he throws his Pikmin back on stage. Yeah, because he has to, otherwise he can't make it back if he goes too far. Especially with the purple, because it weighs him down. Yeah. Well, but anti-airing with the purple, not going to take his stock, but he's... Yeah. Starting to get to a scary percent. Yeah, and with Solomar with both a purple and a blue, he has to be aware of just oh. the, I can't shield because of the grab, but I also don't want to like get hit because the purple will kill me. I don't believe he is at blue uh, kill throw percent yet. Oh. Yeah, it Check looked it like he went smash. for he looked like he went for a back air, but his fast fell a little too fast. Yeah. So the hitbox did not come out. You know, the question is, knowing Silver, he might switch characters. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, did Silver say Lucina? He did say Lucina. Going to Battlefield, very good Falchion stage. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see yeah. if he can make it up. I'm a little bit surprised I didn't see Dreamland. I know he really likes that stage. Uh, maybe he just doesn't want... Like, he thinks that uh, Olimar's going to die anyway. Might be. Yeah. And he's, he's just taking a lot of chip damage right now from Olimar, just throwing Pikmin at him. But Olimar is at the ledge, recovers safely. Yeah. yeah it definitely seems like Lucina in this matchup, or I guess with Falchions in general, you need to get Olimar off the stage, and you need to keep him in disadvantage. But it seems like Olimar has a really good time when he's on the ground and he's playing yeah. his game. Yeah, notices that he keeps going high. Yeah. It kind of. Oh, he wanted to go for a jab block right there. Yeah. Oh, that was a phantom yeah. backer. Yeah, as soon as he gets at a disadvantage, Solomar is just retreating, getting his Pikmin set up, just trying to get this chip damage when he can. Yeah. And Silver keeps alternating between going oh. high and going low, but that beefy forward smash. Doesn't need a tipper on that one. Yeah. Down the back here. Confirm, but uh, I don't think Silver is going to be in much danger of, of killing. Oh. And it looks like Solomar is really trying to read air dodges out of Silver right now. Yeah. There's a lot of times where he's just either getting a throw and he's just going to call out an air dodge, or in that situation, he's just calling yeah. out an air dodge, waiting to get a purple hit. Silver's yeah. not giving it to him. Less scary situation now because uh, his red went, went, went away, but now he's got a red, a purple, and a blue. No, red, two purples. And now, now he's got really BB hits right now. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That was almost disgusting. Putting right. him on notice. Actually, yeah. two purples on Olimar. Down smash could actually break his shield. Oh, if he, if he gets both hits? Yeah. All right, there we go. There we go. Silver getting a better read on how he likes to uh, recover. 
been kind of playing the 50-50 game until now, but uh. Yeah, uh, Battlefield? No, even on yeah. Battlefield. Yeah, I mean 152, uh, basically stage two rage. It's, it's, pro it's probably gonna kill. But yep. Solomar is in a very, very dangerous spot. However, this isn't. I wouldn't say this is a super. Well, it, it is a super big lead, but Olimar is a kind of character. If he can just get a little bit rolling, yeah, he can bring this back. Yeah. Because once he starts running you over, but he's yeah. off stage. Now he's off stage. Has to throw his Pikmin. Yeah. yeah. Gets the untackable. Makes him go in. Yeah, let's recover Super a little bit too close to stage. Two. I'm gonna assume he's gonna ban FD. He doesn't yeah. want to deal with the. Yeah, I mean. He needs the platforms to maneuver. Especially to get around the Pikmin. Like, not only to be able to approach effectively, but also to have more space to get the Pikmin off of him. Yeah. Actually, I wonder how many more pool sets we've got lined up. We can check that after this hot game three on oh. Lilat. Lilat, interesting. Yeah, actually grabs him out of that. Oh, e up he's trying to, trying to call him out. Doesn't get punished for it. And it looks like he's just gonna. Solomar just wants to play his game again. He's just hiding yeah. under a platform. Throwing Pikmin. Oh. Ooh, up till beating the down air. Well, now, now Silver's trying to figure out his hat a little bit on recovering. That it, definitely was a back air. Yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that that is a back air. And now we see Olimar Ooh. was at the ledge. Let's and he go couldn't get Silver. off. Olimar at the ledge is uh, not very good. Yeah. Now we see Arizona starting to pop off a bit. Coming out. And yeah, this is a very healthy stock that he has right now. Oh, back air clanking with down smash. Yeah, Solomar's got, he has a lot he has to get back on. But yeah. he, he can still at least get the damage on. But the issue is, can he get the kill before he gets Lucina too much rage? But Lucina with rage, especially with these reads that Silver's starting to make, yeah. he, he could die and like, he could maybe die now. Oh, like forward smash? Yeah. At, at ledge, Olimar is definitely dead. Like Olimar's light, kind of floaty. Cena's starting to get rage. Yeah, especially on this, having two stocks to work with against Olimar is, is so good, especially when, because it gives you the time to adapt to his uh, Pikmin patterns. He's just gonna keep throwing them. And as we were talking about with, uh, I believe it was, might have been cheap. He's in a position where he's able to make trades and not be as scared. Yeah. And Olimar does not want to trade with Lucina. Because that blade hurts. It definitely does. Ooh. Well, that was actually very nice whistle. A little bit too slow on the da uh, on the smash, though. Yeah, tries to get jab, jab. Into the purple back air, but yeah, no dice two. from Solomar. The two purples and the white. Yeah. He gets the up air, though, but he's at 97%. This is looking a lot like the last game. Yeah, and it's so scary because the Faustian characters can police those side platforms so well. He that. can't get the last hit of the Dancing Blade. Yeah. What? That, like, Olimar, like, when he's when he's sitting under oh. it. Ooh! He just gets that raw forward smash. He's calling yeah. it. Definitely the reason why he wanted to go Lucina. Like, Marth doesn't get the benefit of having...